also a shield. I didn't get it. Um, I, if I didn't kill Ramsmeet and had to figure out that Raymond was actually dead, then I would have uh, got Altar Shield, which would have helped a lot in that last boss battle that I had at the end of Chapter 3. But now I don't have it, and I can never get it again, which is sad. And anyway, I have to go to the boat, apparently, but instead we'll talk to Beringer. What a, what a wank stain, he's not talking. Okay. That sounds quite loud. Uh, see, I was already on the boat. I don't know. Uh, I was just walking around the place. Um, I've, I've really haven't done much. Uh, Abigail the witch is here. I know that, but that's about it. Yes. Oh, okay. So, there's a lot of things to ask here. Milady, are these what you wanted? Try again, Mitchell. Very well. Back to Julian and the priest. Get up. I've taken Berenger's. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have. Tell me the story. Grandfather, Ne Melitelli, watch over his soul, had a plot. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, men. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was over the gods answered. There was a terrible grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely descending from the mountains. He encountered a witcher. They returned to the valley and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him early. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the tre they became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed... What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's... Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with a bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Farewell. Well, my cat's here, so if you hear any noise, it's my cat. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? How long will the repairs take? About a month, if the Griggs kept away. A month? For a few small cracks? Not only repairs, I'll, I'll make it wider. The River Ghost will have the finest bridge in Temeria. Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The River Ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Mm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's... Um, yeah, my cat is currently eating the microphone and whacking the stupid ugly head off it. Uh, hold on, I'm going to have to move you. Sorry, you're gonna have to go over there. Okay, grand. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orins, or a book about spectres, and the king of the wild hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. Greetings. 
Greetings, what brings you here? A wonderful aroma. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical war. I slain. I'll doubt. Uh. Any. Yes. I'm what happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. I'm to get. I learned. A what about pain? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me down. I'll take the job. Deal. Ah, oh, fuck. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. My wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? I'll help. Not a word to my wife. Beastie ba- a creature looking like they say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth. Any reward? Bring proof? Tell me more. About what? And Elves live on the shore. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village. I heard... Yes, my dear daughter, Aline. You know the joy that finds... That's not quite true, but... There are more... And Elves... There is... I see. There's also... How so? They got vicious. Driving us away from the water. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? Farewell. Yes? I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are. Nice. Okay. I want to go into the cave. Why not? It should be safe since there's going to be a bunch of elves in there. But... I'm returning. I've brought. We must now accept chat. Do humans find that amusing? Alright. Amusing. Cape Mill, Gwynblad. I've brought food. What's that? I spit on your charity. Be reasonable. You need food. I want to help. Help? No. You want to demonstrate superiority by throwing food at me as if I were wild. Cease your patronizing human. I'm not patronizing you. When I went hungry, I received help from unexpected sources. I don't need your pity. You elves will never change. You ignore the obvious. A beggar, even when arrogant, remains unimpressive, even ridiculous. So, you've come to laugh, to marvel at freaks. Now I'm angry. You speak of anger. You. I would beat you so hard you'll remember me. You. Calm down. It'll be all right. She's a bitch. Don't like her. Hmm. Two silver talents. That is very attractive. I am a skilled witcher. Hmm. What would I? We'll do that. Uh, 
Let's see if we got bronze talents. We might as well use them. But I want to use them smart. So, no more for group silver. There's one more for fast. I already have that. I already have that. I'll do that. Have I got these? Fast steel. No. Okay. I kind of want to... Yearden is this. I don't, I don't know how to use that. I'm going to be honest with you. Axie. Not really interested. Quen. Is shield. Okay. Yes. My lady, where can I find the Vodianoi priest? At my altar on the shore. Though Dagon's worshippers occasionally drive him away. I see. Yes. My lady, you look pensive. Sometimes I see the future, Witcher. Destiny has entangled its threads round a witcher. His path leads into a dark future, into sadness and pain. I wish to help him survive. Who is it, milady? You, or Berengar. Speak with him, and may one of you take up Destiny's thread. I'll speak to Berengar. And now we need to go back. Yeah. Have you spoken with the Lady of the Lake? Goddesses don't speak to mere mortals. Spare me the sarcasm. So what momentous news did the local goddess divulge? Just don't get all momentous on me. She spoke about destiny. Destiny doesn't interest me. But if you want to play hero, be my guest. I'll even help. See, I tricked you recently. What? Salamandra actually forced me to betray a few formulae. Subjected me to some tests. I didn't even protest. They paid me well. Why? You know why. I wanted to marry, have children, friends, a normal life. The witches robbed me of that chance. This is nothing new to you. Humans hate me. When they see my eyes, they blanch in fear. And children. Tell me, what's the difference between your dear Camoran and a salamandra lab? I'm not here to tell you I'm any better than you. Leave. The mere sight of you irks me. I'm beginning to doubt myself. Farewell. Uh, I just have to go back. Yes? Berengar has no interest in destiny. Clearly my vision pertained to you, Geralt. If you say so. When the time comes, I shall aid you with a gift. Fantastic, I need to be patient. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? So the one house I didn't check in the village is the one where fucking Alvin was. My fucking luck. Of course, this is my luck with this game. The one fucking house I didn't see. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, 
would you be kind enough to look in on my fiance and perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere? Your fiance is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Interesting. What? Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nice what to the fucking brooms? It's Fuck. just that I missed you. You like it here? I do. Are we going to kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the grandmaster. We'll talk later. Okay. Is that it? No, not an interest that I can rob. No. You've got nothing in this house, woman. Leo. Oh, fuck's sake. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. <laughs> So everything leads to the end. No oh, bollocks. Good morning, Witcher. It's, uh, it's actually evening. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. I'd like to talk to you. I'm in no mood. No. Oh. It's a lot I have to do. Carol, is that you? No, it's not me. How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh, yeah. I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Geralt? I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? Farewell. Okay. That's that line one more time. So it'll be a master and the story. Engaging and strange to not as well. Uh, what happened? Who knows? Sometimes now don't get a so I won't. I do. Geralt. What? Who knows? Some now don't. I have. You've changed for the. Okay, so not interesting. Harn the that good for nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. 
I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe stole the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In the chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint, like the ones they place at crossroads. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. Okay. Why do you seek me? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay. I saw Julian and Selena together. But don't get bent out of shape. Selena starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selena can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, uh, women. That's the best line of this game. Treacherous vixen! I'm looking for Alvin. If he's not in the village, check the fairy tale ruins nearby. Thanks. step away summoned ghosts can be very dangerous i just wanted to use the power like trips normally i'm kind just lonelier mate i'd like alvin to keep me company playing dice he's a clever boy leave him alone a classic solution then let's play for him the loser leaves the boy to the other I'm not interested. Move away. You, uh... Oh, of course. One fucking hit away. You saved me. I was scared. Everything's all right. I know. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Tris said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. gift for you. You like this Dimeridian necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe. I feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? But just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan, look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action, no matter the price? 
Alright, open your mind. Yes? Oh, there's lots here. Okay. You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, I'm not finished. Yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Covey, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Mm -hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying, and the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran and they chased me and I was running so fast. But then I tripped and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me, and I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. I'll see you later. Oh, I, to. I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster, and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar's afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. We never get sick, but that costs us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? No. Can't I become a witcher without that? No. I'm not sure then. No. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Oh, okay. Okay. I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. No, but the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory? And finally, one of the most mysterious, the philosophical or mystical. Which one first? Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings and wounds. And pain will turn into power. One theory also states that in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect their inhabitants from danger, creatures of the dark, natural disasters, and so forth. Sounds like Dandelion's Ballads, only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Let's move on to the conspiracy theory. That one sounds interesting. 
This was popularized by Bronze Dan, and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the prophet Lebioda. Enough of this conspiracy talk. Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. Oh, sorry, don't know. This ch sounds like dandelion. Or Go on. Knights have been seeking the Grail for ages, yet none succeeded. Both the noble Lancel and the bold Boars failed. Any special fort? The philosophical. Mm, uh, the most esoteric. The Grail is a concept. A general understanding of good. The search for the Grail is nothing beyond an ordinary quest for perfection. Interesting. The Grail has no specific form or shape. It differs for each individual. It can be an object, an idea, a discovery. It can also be a search for the truth about oneself. Hmm. This theory claims the quest for the Grail to be the goal in itself. The result is of secondary importance. What are you suggesting? I serve the lady and am more insightful than you think. I know you return to the world of the living from death, presumably in search of something, but that is none of my concern. Just remember one thing. What? At the end of your journey, the grail may prove to be entirely different from what you initially expected it to be. Thank you. Farewell. Ah! I can't attack. That was a terrifying experience. It literally just came at me straight away. Nearly dead. I'm just running past. I'm not arsed. Let's get out of here. Oh, Jesus. It crashed. The game crashed. I fucking, I had it at top of my head. It was just like, just before I exited it, it was just like, just save the game. Save the fucking game and it didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. I'm going to just, obviously I'm going to have to make up on the progress that I lost, and then I'm going to, um, I'm just going to go to them, just give them the shit, I'm not going to put that on camera, as soon as I actually understand what I'm doing, then I'm going to, then I'm going to record again, and as usual, this has been an absolute disaster.